everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought it could be nice to give you guys a little update on my life um basically i posted about like last year about applying to fine art csm ual and you know having my first term there and then i said i would keep updating you along the year and um well that just hasn't happened um and the reason for that is because i have quit fine art um i haven't quit university i transferred my course but i've had quite the bad experience at fine art at central saint martin studying fine art so for those of you that don't know, I did a foundation at UC Farnham, which was an amazing experience. And I thought that I got along really well with my teacher, which I did. And you know, the way he like explained things and inspired me was not like any other teacher in the other pathways. So I thought fine art was like my thing. And I did really well in foundation, graduated with distinction and thought fine art was the path for me. So I applied to Central St. Mars UAL and was really lucky that I got in. Um, and I had, I had specific expectations for how I thought the course would go because based on my experience at foundation at UC Farnham, I thought it would be kind of similar. I thought, you know, students would be kind of close with their tutors and we would get regular tutorials where we'd get feedback and advice and, you know, we, we would have some good relationships with our tutors and the other classmates as well. Um, unfortunately because of COVID that already kind of took away from potential friendships and because of COVID that was a bit difficult because we didn't go into uni that often we had it was like half online half real life and to be honest I personally believe that even if it wasn't for COVID I still wouldn't have had a good experience just because I don't agree with how the syllabus was made for our course um they i was first year fine arts student and the attention we got from our tutors was so minimal because they really put most of their focus and attention into the second years and third years because you know third years are graduating and second years you need to specialize in something within their fine art practices so first years barely get any attention and barely any support really and because we are such a big year um it is really difficult to build strong relationships with your tutors um, and to be honest I had such a struggle to make friends um, in my first year and it's potentially a little bit of my fault because I could have made more effort going into uni more often but also like I feel like I just didn't get along with or I couldn't find a mutual language and I couldn't connect with the people that were on my course that well. Um, so, so in that perspective, I really struggled to um, just have like a group of people that I would be excited to see whenever I go into uni. Other than that, the concepts that we had were quite interesting. We had to write essays, which I really enjoyed because like I felt like I was learning things um, by researching and then writing. And also we had the practical work, which is where we had to make things. Um, a lot of the time they would make it, they would give us a brief, but it was so open that it could literally be any topic that you want. And to be honest, I really like when I'm given a more specific brief because I don't feel like I have a particular topic as an artist that I am specialized in like I don't have a niche that I create art for so I really do like to receive briefs that are more descriptive more detailed and are on a particular concept which was how my foundation went so the topics can be broad but I just these topics were so broad I can't remember an example I would have given you but they were so broad that everyone literally did their own little concept like I did about um what was it like toxic representation of love in modern society or something like that and then other people did about like their childhood traumas and then other people did it about feminism um and so yeah identity you know all that kind of stuff um and i just felt like i wasn't getting anything out of it because it was so open <laughs> so another thing that i really really didn't like about CSM was that the studio spaces are tiny 
and you would expect for such a ginormous university they would have a little bit more space and maybe make the canteen a bit smaller or like the hallway a bit smaller and like be more economical with space in areas where students don't actually spend that much time in and give more studio space for artists and people that create sculptures and 3D work and you know it was such small space I felt like I couldn't really use that space freely because I was afraid that I would either ruin someone's work, take up someone else's space who already claimed it and so I didn't have that like space that was meant for me actually as well you know so I just stayed at home mainly worked on my laptop um also because they didn't provide anything any materials and in my foundation we had at least some options with paper, paint, brushes, glue, you know, all that kind of stuff. So they weren't really like thoughtful in that perspective. So other than the fact that we barely had any tutorials and time with the tutors, like one-on-one, -on -one, um, and the fact that we barely had any studio space, I also wasn't too keen on the projects that we were given. A lot of the time people were so confused after our um, meetings where the tutors would brief us on our new project. Everyone would have a million questions and that's not really a good sign. I mean, of course it can be super open that people are confused as to what exactly they need to do, but the fact that it was every single briefing and everyone already knows it's open-minded, so that wasn't even really the question. It was mainly about um, just how they explained it to us. It was just badly explained, to be honest. So, yeah, I, I had a horrible time, to be honest. Like, I kind of was I felt really lonely and I feel like I wasn't getting much out of it especially for the money that I was paying I really didn't feel like it was worth it and although I am on student loan I still want to make the best use out of the money that I am putting into uni because anyways I'm going to be paying that money back so it is technically my money so at the same time as not having a good time at fine art and just by the way my experience is not other people's experience so there were a lot of people that enjoyed it and a lot of people that were like super immersified okay whatever that means um into the course because they they thought it was amazing like it was for them so it's just not for everyone you know and i'm trying to say that if you're someone who prefers more structure and more like a competitive a little bit of a competitive fast-paced atmosphere then it's not really for you because I feel like the classes I was in were so like mellow and slow and just I felt like I needed more more out of it and a fine art wasn't giving that to me at least not how Central St. Martin's teaches it and anyway fine art isn't even taught like they didn't teach us anything I didn't learn anything from the tutors other than some references that they would provide during tutorials which a lot of you might say it's normal and I get that but to be honest my foundation I learned so much and I really wish that fine art undergraduate courses would also continue on that level but because it is so independent and so just up to you how you use the space well the lack of space to be honest but I just felt so lost because I, I like that structure in my life especially when I don't know what I'm going to do after studying fine arts. So I really did crave some sort of guidance into like a career or something like that that connected through fine art. And obviously, yeah, there's a career of being like a studio artist and making money off commissions and things like that. But I really didn't see that for myself. And so I think when I picked fine art, I thought that fine art is so open that I could like, you know, focus on design work here and there, do that, do that. But what's the point? Eventually, okay. This is a bit messy of how I'm explaining it, but basically, simultaneously, while I was studying fine art, I grew this passion for design and logos and branding and brand communication, packaging design. I viewed fine art, like I thought fine art would be so open-minded that I could focus on this and that and that, you know, and like have time. But at the end of the day, I envisioned my career path to go down the design route. And I thought studying fine art, you know, will still open doors for me because it's so broad and, you know, fine art is still a creative um, degree. So, you know, marketing internships and things like that could potentially accept me still, you know, but it did at the end of the day I feel like a bit of a waste studying fine art when I did envision myself going down the design route for my career and I thought that like what am I doing like I should make my degree focus on my career path rather than 
more like a hobby or something that I see myself doing on the side, which was fine art at that stage. Um, so, to be honest, I don't know if I would have transferred or quit fine art if it was a different uni that had a better structure and a more, like a, a way of teaching that was more tailored to my preferences. But to be honest, I am really happy with the choice that I made um, because I transferred to Graphic Branding and Identity at LCC. So I'm still at UAL, but just at a different college and studying a completely different course. And But still to this day, I noticed that my interest for philosophical topics and um, themes still carry through into my work because I definitely look at things with a more deeper and more open mind, I would say. But I definitely think that I'm getting a lot more practical experience out of it and things that I could actually put into um, my career and the jobs that I want to apply to in the future and develop my portfolio the way I want it to look. Because in fine art, I was thinking, okay, I need to really like put time and effort into my design portfolio that I'll be using for my career. But then it's like fine art had n like, the things we had to make in fine art could not go in my design portfolio. Like it was so out of, like it was so different to what design jobs are looking for that I, that I felt like I was wasting time studying fine art if that wasn't what I wanted to do in my future. And especially spending money on a course that wasn't really gonna do much for me in terms of my portfolio and applications and things like that. So that's kind of why I decided to transfer because mainly my interests have changed um, over time. And also because I just, I really didn't find myself a good fit for the course or that the course was a good fit for me, should I say. And you know, the course that I transferred to is a much smaller class, so we get a lot more time with our tutors. We get like at least one tutorial in two weeks or one week, which is far more than I had in fine art. And the people there I just get along with more. Like I feel like outside of London, fine art is really fun because I had a foundation outside of London. Um, and I feel like universities like Leeds, you know, Bristol or um, Bournemouth, they definitely have a more maybe like fun like community there. So yeah, that's just basically my experience. I just wanted to update you guys briefly and hopefully explain why I haven't been posting. Well, not that any of you really care, I don't think, but just explain why I haven't been posting about my term two and term three in fine art, even though I did it. I didn't just, I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to talk about it because I did not have a good experience. And I don't want to sway anyone who actually wants to go to Central St. Martin's to study fine art because that is just my experience. And if you are someone like me who prefers more competitive things like competitive creativity, structure, organization, you know, a plan, solid career path idea, then maybe you'll have a similar experience. I don't know. But yeah, I really feel like my choice now with graphic branding and identity has put me on a more clear path. Do not apply because I said I had a bad experience. There are plenty of other YouTube videos where people are saying they had a good experience, I think. Um, if not, just do your own research and make that decision for yourself. Can I just say something? Fine art is great, but it's where you do it that you really have to think about and consider. Like Central St. Martin's is a bit interesting with their topic choices and the way they separate the groups like 2D, 3D, 4D, XD. And I knew about it, but, but to be honest, I did really want to go to Central St. Mars because it was like such a prestigious like opportunity to go there and attend it. Been there, done that, moving on now. So yeah, but no, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of it was to do with me because I didn't push myself enough either, but I'm just happier in my new course. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and see you in my next one. Bye.